Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is a zero-day root vulnerability affecting Netgear routers. On a blog post, a security researcher disclosed details for two different vulnerabilities affecting a number of different Netgear broadband routers and wireless access points. He actually shares a whole lot of technical detail showing how he actually reversed the firmware on these routers to find the vulnerabilities. But at a very high level, the first vulnerability is an authentication bypass vulnerability. Basically, if an attacker can visit a specially crafted URL, he can actually skip the authentication and gain full root access to your router. The second vulnerability is something called a command injection vulnerability. And with this, the attacker can actually inject commands on your router to get it to do whatever he wants. Now, there's good news and bad news here. Uh, the bad news is, unfortunately, Netgear has not fixed this yet. They're aware of the flaws, but they haven't released a patch firmware yet. Now the good news is an attacker can only exploit this flaw if he has access to the web-based administration page. And by default, Netgear routers do not allow what's called wide area network administration or remote administration. So an attacker can only leverage this if you've turned that on or if the attacker has access to your internal network, maybe via your Wi-Fi. So what's the takeaway here? First of all, as soon as Netgear releases the fixed firmware, you should install it. Second of all, make sure to disable remote administration of these Netgear devices. And finally, make sure to secure your wireless access point using WPA2 and a strong password so attackers can actually gain access to your internal network. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.